my first memories of Choco was taking a walk with my mom down the road and we get this really fine dust and it feels like corn silk. So walking through corn silk dust and playing with this dust because it felt so great on bare feet. So that's one of my first memories. I can still remember that. When we bought the lodge, I was 26 with four babies and I thought we can always get a job. You know, but you haven't got the chance to live up in the wilderness in this beautiful spot. The kids, it was just a great place to raise kids. And all our kids turned out just absolutely fantastic. And I think a lot of it was due to the being born in the wilderness. Congratulations, baby sister. You've maintained and created so many wonderful memories for the family and all those experiences for all our thousands of people that have visited, that is a testament to your character and dedication in keeping the Chilco experience authentic and real. I thank you for that. And Ms. Emerson thanks you for that. Congratulations again. I love you. Hi, Karen. Hey, congratulations. Congratulations on 30 years. Hope to see you soon. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Happy 30th anniversary. Happy 30th anniversary from the from boys the down, down the, the river. river. Big hugs and kisses. Yes, yes, yes. Hi Karen, it's your brother Larry and sister Janie wishing you a happy 30th anniversary. You're a fantastic operator, amazing woman. We love you so much. Keep up the good work and uh, thanks for all the great memories over the years. Love you. Love you. Bye-bye. Congrats. Well, my first official job was a, a camp cook on a pack trip. So my mom wrote up the recipe book, packed the food, and sent me off with one of the guides for her pack trip. And that's how I learned how to cook, over a fire. <laughs> Cooked for 12 people over a campfire. And I didn't poison anybody, so that was really good. <laughs> well, she was well prepared for it because she had always taken up uh, the jobs as they come along, cooking on the trail rides, taking the trail rides. Congratulations, Aunt Karen, for 30 years of making Silos our safe haven and for giving us a place to disconnect, to reconnect. We, we love, love you. Hey, Karen, congratulations on 30 years at Silos. Thank you for changing my life for me. Love working here, love you. Hi Karen, we just wanted to wish you a happy 30 years on owning Silos. Congratulations. Yeah, you betcha. Congratulations. Ciao. Hi Karen. I'm just making this little video to congratulate you on 30 years at running Silos Park Lodge. All I can say is you're young enough, you can do it another 30 years. And I hope you do. And I also hope to see you soon. Bye bye. Hi Karen, just a very quick message to say congratulations for managing Silos for 30 years. Whenever I'm coming over there, people always say to me, why do you go to Silos? Very, very simple. Fun, warm, welcoming, friendly, peaceful, relaxing, and oh yeah, friendly. Sorry I couldn't make it this year. Hopefully next year things will improve and I'll be back for my next visit. Bye. Hi Karen, just a quick video to say uh, thanks for everything that you do um, and congratulations on your 30 years. Uh, Silos is just one of the best places in the world, um, great place to work, a great place to ride um, and really admire what you've done to take it from, um, you know, hunting and fishing to, you know, just totally just recreation. Um, congratulations. When she was old enough to walk, she had this fascination with horses. I think I landed on the planet loving horses. I loved horses since I was forever a toddler. Mom talks about that she used to sit me on the back of a horse and that was my babysitter. I could sit there for hours holding onto the horn, be happy as a clam. <laughs> I loved horses, always have, always will. Karen got her first pony when she was eight and a Shetland pony, and she <coughs> rode it uh, bareback. She never used a saddle till I don't know how old she was. 
I would go up on the side hill by myself and sit with the horses when I was little and sing to the horses. Love doing that. Some of my best memories have been on the back of a horse. My favorite smell is the smell under the mane of a horse. It's my, it brings back every good thing to me there is. Congratulations, Aunt Karen, on 30 plus years at Chilco. We thank you so much for continuing the story that Grandma and Grandpa started. And we especially thank you for helping us create all these wonderful memories. We look forward to the years to come. Thanks, Karen. We love you. Hi, Karen. I'm here with Toast and Chili. Congratulations on 30 years. It's an amazing, amazing place and experience you've created for so many people all over the world. I was so sad not to make it out with Taiga this year, but hopefully we'll be back next summer. Hope you guys have an awesome autumn and a wonderful off season. See you soon. Hey Karen, congratulations on 30 years. You guys have created such a beautiful and magical place and I'm so grateful for the years that I was able to be a part of it. And I just wish you all the best, all the success, and here's to many, many more years. Congratulations Karen on your wonderful journey of 30 years with Silos. Um, I would like to thank you as well for making Silos the unique place it is today. It has been the second home and is without a doubt one of the most amazing places on earth. So on that note, I'm wishing you many more years of success and happiness and I hope to see you soon. Bye! Hey Karen! Brian and I wanted to say congratulations on 30 years of owning Silos. What a massive milestone and accomplishment. You have done an outstanding job over that time, contributing more than anyone could have imagined, and you have turned Silos into a special place that guests want to keep coming back to year after year. Your hard-working attitude is visible in everything that you do, and we couldn't be more proud of you. And for your family, you've given us all the rare opportunity to work in such a special place which has established each of our passions. We're thankful we've grown up and been able to call such a special place home. We are truly thankful for all of your hard work. We love you and couldn't be more proud of you. Congratulations, Karen. You truly deserve it. Congratulations, Karen. Salos is a wonderful place and I'm very grateful and happy to have worked there for the last four years. Well, when I was 19, I decided that, you know, I was old enough and it was time to settle down. And that, uh, that you know, I had a lot to do as far as a business and life. and. I would say I didn't get to do that right away, but I always knew I always knew I'd have my own business. I knew that part. Whether I knew at that point if I would buy mom and dad's or not, I, I wasn't sure. But the thought of it going out of the family was just not, for me it was never an option to sell it to somebody else. She was young and energetic and, and I thought it'd be great to carry on in the tradition of the family. And once she makes up her mind, she just goes ahead and uh, she does a good job, very good job. So I think I finally bought the company off my parents when I was 30. And at the same time, you're young and dumb and pretty arrogant, and so you figure you can do it and somehow you make it work. <laughs> so that's really what happened. <laughs> we made it work. I guess the one thing you have to have is a lot of confidence in yourself. If you don't have that, you're never going to make it out in the bush. Hi, Karen. Everybody can dream, but it is certain people that make it a reality. You definitely made your dreams come true with achieving 30 years at Silos Park Lodge. No matter what, Karen, hardworking people sure stand out, and you've really worked hard over the last many years. So congratulations, enjoy the moment, and may your success continue to grow. Good for you, Karen. You make us proud. Congratulations, Karen. Oh my God, what an amazing achievement. Your place is so beautiful and your hospitality and generosity is just amazing. It was one of the most amazing holidays I've ever been on and I think about you and everyone there so often and I hope you have a wonderful celebration. One day I might just get back there and um, see you all again. Lots of love from Adelaide, Australia. Bye. Hi Karen. Uh... Here's a greeting from the very south of Sweden uh, and the sea behind me. 
30 years, that's really, that's really impressive and worth celebrating. Happy, happy anniversary. And I wanted to say that I, I really do miss all the beautiful summers at Silas and all, all the beautiful horses and all the beautiful people and everything and the, all the fun we had. So uh, all the best from me and lots of love and take care. Bye for now. Karen, I just wanted to congratulate you on 30 years running this place. Uh, it's one of the best little tourism businesses in all of BC, and I just wanted to offer you my huge congratulations. Congratulations, Karen, on 30 years of owning and operating Silas Park Lodge. Um, speaking for myself and these two, we're uh, pretty lucky to be able to come up and work for you for the past few seasons and uh, getting to know your family and all the guests. Thanks, Karen. Thanks. Yeah. It's been Thanks a pleasure. A so one of the places that uh, is super special to me is Goat Camp. It's one of the places that we go on our pack trips. And it's just one of those unreal, spectacular places. It's just pure wild, very isolated, and picture perfect. Connection. Connection to the beauty that's always around us. Um, the miracles that are always around us, and the love, really. Hi, Karen, from Awatna, Monday, England. Just a quick message to thank you for looking after Tylos for the last 30 years and giving the guests a riding and fishing experience of a lifetime. We love it there. That's why we keep coming back. You're so good, Dave says, even the bears don't want to leave. Best wishes to you, Bud, Josh, David, Gary, and all the crew. Hoping to see you next year, all being well. Thank you, Dave and Maggie. Bye. Congratulations, Karen, on 30 successful years. Thank you for your perseverance, your foresight, and your dedication in making Choco a memorable experience and cherished place for staff and guests alike. I, like so many other guides in BC, got my start working for Karen and the McLeans out at Silos. And I just want to wish her congratulations on 30 years of running one of the best operations out there. Here's to many more. Hey, Aunt Karen, just wanted to send you a, a congratulations for owning and operating Silos Park Lodge for the last 30 years. You've created so many great memories for me and so many other people that it's such a milestone. It's such an awesome achievement. We couldn't be more proud of you. Just wanted to wish you the best and congratulate you and tell you we, we love you. Congratulations, Karen, on owning and operating Silas Park Lodge for the past 30 years. Your passion and dedication to the Chilco area and its environment are a true inspiration. I consider myself lucky to be able to be out here and work out here and enjoy this beautiful area. I, like so many others, we owe that all to you. Thank you, Karen. Congratulations. Love you. Congratulations, Karen. You've done a beautiful, beautiful job. She's just a wonderful, honest person. I love her. <laughs> love you, Karen. <laughs> Karen, I, I think you know how proud I am of you. I've told you that many times, and, and it's with all my heart when I say that. I am proud of you like I've never been proud of anything else. And I know the future is going to be hard, but I know you're going to go in there with both feet and fists swinging and you'll come out on the top, one of the best. Congratulations and I love you so much. Choco has given us so many beautiful things and great experiences over time that I think it is our responsibility to do what we can and do more that we can to, to help it survive and thrive. I love the area, so I'd really like to leave, leave it in a way that it has the ability to take care of itself and not be impacted to the point of extinction by man. And not just extinction, is that the wildlife that lives here, whether it's the fish, the wildlife, the grass, you know, thrives. That's the way it should be in all wild places.